Spencer Dinwiddie is uh, reportedly set to play for the Tigers of Nigeria. Now, Nigeria's male basketball team, uh, that's uh, of course the Tigers of Nigeria, this comes after the NBA star was passed over by Team USA. Now, we hear that the Brooklyn Nets guard is in the process of obtaining the Nigerian passport and will join the country's basketball team. The video wasn't included among the 44 finalists announced in February by USA Basketball for the Olympic roster. And uh, the video was born in Los Angeles and played college basketball at the United University of Colorado. The Tokyo Olympics Games have been postponed on the, until summer 2021 because of the coronavirus pandemic. So we're looking forward to that period when we'll get to see this man play for Nigeria. But do you think it's, it's, it's good to have um, um, players who are rejected by other countries come mm -hmm. down to play for Nigeria? I mean, you know, <laughs> when you put it that way, when you mm. see players who have been rejected... Because it sounds that way. Yeah, okay, yes, it is what it is, actually. Mm. You're very right. He was a player who was rejected by the U.S. and is mm. coming to represent Nigeria. But then he's a player who's got a wealth of experience. Mm. He's a very good guard. Um, he has played for the Brooklyn currently playing for the Brooklyn Nets, represented the Detroit Pistons, yeah. and also had a good stint with the, with the Chicago Bulls. Um, so for bring, coming into Nigeria, coming to play for Nigeria, coming to bring a wealth of experience, mm -hmm. is going to make the team a whole lot better as well. So mm -hmm. personally, I'm excited to see him play for Nigeria. All right, we have Daniel from Cardinal calling us this morning. Good morning, Daniel. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, how's it going? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have your contribution. So, yeah, um, I saw the news about Spencer Dewood. I actually felt it, it's not like they are pushing Americans to Nigeria as a thumping ground because mm -hmm. now we have other players in the Nigerian team that also play for NBA team. Mm -hmm. We have I mean, more of the Raptors and we also have George Kukige of the Minnesota team. So um, now we just recently got a very good coach in Mike Brown. Uh, we all know he's Golden State assistant coach. He has coached LeBron James. He has gotten to play off seven or five. So I think he's a very good addition for Nigeria. And this season, actually, Spencer Jody really upped his game. And we also, he's averaging about 23 points per game. So... I think it's a very good addition for Nigeria. You don't think he's going to have any issues blending with the other players for the Tigers? Well, I don't I don't feel we have issues blending with the players of Nigeria because now we already have three slightly professional NBA players mm. and a very good coach yeah. which which I which has managed a lot of things and everything. So mm. I think the coach should be able to do the job well. Mm. All right. Thank you very much uh, for calling us this morning, Daniel, all the way from uh, Kaduna. Yeah. All right. We have on standby uh, Kimbody Ogunsu, a basketball analyst, joining us via Skype this morning. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Um, let's, let, let's talk about um, Spencer. Give us more insights about this guard and what you think he brings to the Tigers. Uh, first off, let me object to your use uh, to, to your use of the word that was um, rejected by the Americans. It, 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 it wasn't like he, he applied to play for them. Mm. Uh, it's just like when Nigerians play for the African countries, uh, both uh, the men and women national national teams. Mm. Uh, so uh, he wasn't selected, which meant that he could play for anybody. Having said that, um, I think that uh, Dimwidi uh, uh, is coming to play a position that we. Uh, we actually need uh, a very, very strong player, a very strong uh, performer. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the weakest areas of the of, of Nigerian team. I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the point guard position. And as the guy on, on, on set mentioned earlier, uh, Dimwidi has, has had a fantastic season. He, he almost made the, um, the all-star team uh, in, in the NBA. So I think, I think him playing, um, opting to play for Nigeria is a big plus for the team. Although, in, in, uh, when, 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 but when, when you talk about the long-term effects, it's a different scenario entirely. But as far as these Olympics are concerned, I think the really play for Nigeria is a big plus. Mm. Now, still talking about the Tigers of Nigeria, because um, year in, year out, we've seen a different setup by the coaches for the Tigers of Nigeria. Don't you think that's a problem? Can't we have a consistent um, uh, team? And, of course, uh, the regular top five playing for the Tigers of Nigeria. Uh, that, that's almost impossible uh, because um, basketball is a team game. Uh, 
Mm. And uh, first, um, during the qualifiers, we saw so many uh, so many players playing for two reasons. One, um, I know the MBBF are trying to, uh, to to see as many players as possible play for Nigeria. And secondly, um, some, some, uh, the, the, the pick players when they were available. What I mean by that is that there are some windows. There are some players who are not available. For instance, when the when, when the when their MBA was playing. The, um, when the NBA was playing, and when, the college, when college was in session, you, you will see some players that are play, that, 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 that's right in college. Mm -hmm. I, I will see uh, Farouk Abdul, uh, Farouk, who was playing, playing in the NBA. So it depend, depending on so the NBA selected players from when they were available. Mm -hmm. And the first we should be thankful that we were able to get players. Uh, we, we have so, such a huge pool, a pool of players to select from. And secondly, I think it was a way of showcasing um, the talent that Nigeria has. Now, to, to the other um, uh, institution that um, we should have a regular starting five, we can't do that until we have seen as many as possible. Mm. The past three four years have seen uh, Nigeria develop uh, a, a, a lot, a, a lot, a deep pool of talent. Um, both some playing in Europe, some coming through college, to, to, co coming through the American college system, some playing in South America, and all of them. We haven't seen all of them in action yet. So I think the past two, the last two years is when we are seeing them, and I, and I can tell you. That a lot more are going to emerge in the coming two years. So I don't think you're going to see a stable Nigerian team for some time yet. Because first of all, if you want to see as many of them play as possible, you want, then you want to see your, your best five. And then, since you, since you are going to always select players on form, it's, it's, it's almost impossible because you, you can't ignore someone that, that's playing well. You can't, you, you've got to let them come in. So I don't think you're going to see a stable Nigerian five yet. Maybe you see one or two that will be constant with the team. But it's, but it's starting five that is consistent. I think, I think for the next two years, we're, we're going to keep working on that. Hmm. All right, let's talk about, um, you know, why I said uh, the, uh, most of these guys who get done by other countries, because I feel like they, they know that they want to play for Nigeria, but they're always waiting for an opportunity to play for another country. Then if that doesn't happen, they pick Nigeria as a last choice. But do you think that Nigeria is really a dumping ground for some of these athletes? I don't think so, um, unless, unless we want to be arrogant about it. Mm. Uh, for instance, I, I think it was the Congolese team at the last African Games, um, or the Gabonese team, I can't remember which one now. They had like four or five Nigerians on, on their table tennis team. The Equatorial National, the Equatorial the, the uh, Guinea team, uh, we, we national team, they have, they have like five Nigeria, Nigerians. Go to Ghana, uh, go to uh, uh, Togo, go to the Republic, you see Nigerians playing everywhere. And so it, it's when, when, a, when a nation that, that has an, uh, um, an overflow of talent, you know, uh, in a particular sport, and the, the, and and, um, and you have you have uh, players in, in those countries who want to showcase their talent at the highest level. Mm -hmm. you're, you're always going to have a spillover. But I I, I feel that um, for this time here, I think the Olympics is what is, is the main attraction yeah. at this time. Um, uh, uh, they really want to play at the Olympics. Nigeria looks to be the strongest team that you can see that can challenge Americans going to Olympics. So he 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 he, 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 he offered. But also, the, but also remember that there's a FIBA rule that says that only one player that's not a native can play for a country. Yeah. So they are limited. Um, uh, so and as far as the only one player that, that you are taking, you can't say Nigeria, Nigeria is a dumping, dumping ground. Mm -hmm. For instance, said the backer played for Spain, okay, yeah. and he's going to play for, he probably play, play for them again at the Olympics. And look at when you get to the Olympics, you find that there are a lot of Americans one in play for so many countries. I think there's one in Japan. There's one. There will be some in Costa Rica. Mm. So for me, I think it's just like, it's just NBA trying to do the best they can. But mm. given that FIBA rule that limits the number of players that can show up for a particular country, that means that no country, no no, no country can be can be a dumping ground. Mm. Because if that rule is not there, I can assure you, you can have as many as five Americans, five Americans playing for some countries. But that's not going to happen anyway. Mm. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. I can't believe good to you. It's my pleasure. All right, that was the basketball analyst giving us his own insight on uh, the basketball player from the NBA talking about Spencer and also speaking on the fact that Nigeria is not a dumping ground for some of these athletes. I'd like to thank him very much for his analysis right there.